Hello and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to install the BBC iPlayer on your jailbroken Apple TV. So let's go on with it. So there's a couple of things you're going to need to be able to do this. You're going to need a jailbroken Apple TV. I'll leave a link to the jailbreak video I created so you can do that. You're going to need XBMC installed on the Apple TV. And then you'll need to download the BBC iPlayer plugin, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. And you'll also need to download uh, CyberDuck, which will allow you to connect to the Apple TV via SSH and actually transfer over the zip file. So as you can see here, I've got CyberDuck open. Now this is available for both Mac and PC, so that's it's going to be the same across both. Um, so once you open it, you're going to have to click here on Open Connection. Now, we need to change the protocol to SSH, which is here. And then you have to put in the IP address of your Apple TV. Now, if you don't know what this is, you need to go to your Apple TV, go to Settings, then go into General, into Network, and then you'll see at the bottom the IP address. Now, mine is .5, so I'm going to put 192.168.100.5. Now it's going to ask for a username. Now the username is just going to be root. And then the default password is alpine. And then that's all you have to do. I left these two blank and I'm going to click connect. So what we're going to do, we're going to click the drop down here. I'm going to go to the root of the actual Apple TV. So we need to go to private var. And then we want to come down. We want to go to mobile. And then we want to go to applications. And then all you have to do is get the .zip file, so the Apple TV that you downloaded from the link in the description, and literally just copy it straight over to the uh, device. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it once. It's just asking me here, do I want to overwrite? So I'm going to click cancel and come out of that. And now that you've got it onto the Apple TV, you just need to install it, which I'll show you now. Okay, so on the Apple TV, I'll quickly show you how to start install XBMC. So you go all the way to maintenance, manage extras, wait for it to load, and if you come down the, the page, you'll see at the very bottom uh, XBMC. So you just click on that and it installs it, it reboots, and you're in business. So if we just go back, and you'll see XBMC here on the dashboard. We go into that, wait for that to load. And then all we have to do, if we go to the right-hand side, we just have to go over to System, go down and go to Settings. And if we come down this list, you'll see down here you've got add-ons. So if we go to that, and then we just need to go to install from zip file. And then go onto the home folder. Inside of there, we just need to go to applications, and in here you'll see the iPlayer. So you literally OK on that, and it will install the package for you. I'm not going to do it, obviously, because I've already installed it on my Apple TV. So if we just come out of here, back to the sort of dashboard area for XBMC. Now, if we just move our way over to the video section, you'll see underneath there, we have the add-on section. So we go into there, and voila, there you go. You've got the iPlayer. So if we go onto that, and then we can choose from TV and radio. We're gonna go obviously into TV. And then you can catch up on all these different channels. So if we just go down to the BBC One, And then we can choose from all these different programs. So if we just pick, I don't know, just pick Casualty or something like that. Give it a second just to think about it. There's the, the episode. Click on that. Wait for it to do its thing. And we are up in business. And that's how you basically install the iPlayer on the Apple TV. So I just want to thank you for watching. Please leave any comments below. Please give this a like and I'll see you all in the next video.